Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Dungeon Drafters, a roguelite deck building dungeon crawler that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. The full version is out on Steam now. I first played the demo like a year and a half ago, and I really, really enjoyed it then. But I have no idea where they took it, and I'm curious to see. So let's pop on in and see what the game is all about. All right, we got ourselves a character select here. So we played this character before in that demo, so I really definitely want to check out somebody. I kind of just want to be this rabbit. He's got a big old banner. The Explorer has a survivalist-themed Warden and Traveler deck, getting through battles with mobility and safety. Or Giant Owl Monk. Also appealing. These are really interesting choices. Let's pop on in with the Explorer. Oh! Well, all right. <laughs> Is there a different one of these for every character here? All right. Unknown ruins. Movement and attacking. WAC to move around the map. Holding a direction outside of combat will allow you to move fast in that direction. Press a direction against a unit to execute a melee attack against it. Works both outside and inside combat. Try it out. I'm going to actually turn up the volume here one sec. That's a rarity for me. Ooh. I don't know, I'm just a huge fan of, the, of this rabbit hopping around already. Actions in combat. During the player's turn, you can execute these actions. Move, melee attack, cast a card, and end turn. Moving and executing melee attacks works the same as outside of combat. Just press the direction with WASD. To cast a card, click a card with the mouse button. To end before executing all your actions, hold the cancel button, which is Q, or click the end turn button in the AP bar. Executing most of your actions will spend AP. When your AP reaches zero, your turn will end. All right. Oh, that's right, the music. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of cards to get used to here. Fire a shot that pulls the caster to the impact point, then attack any unit at that impact point. Hand slight, discard target library card, and, oh, library card, and draw one. Jump to target position and then jump to a second target position. Heal one plus heal one for each close enemy. Inflict one damage in a small cross area. Poly hit. Draw one. Okay. So could we theoretically, like... Oh, gosh. I can't jump onto the box, can I? No. To, like, hop, hop, hook shot. Hop, hop. Okay. So I don't know what kind of movement they have. Okay, so you can move two spaces. Whether or not you can move two spaces and, at and then attack is, I guess, the question I have. Should we find out now while we're in the tutorial? I it's been a while. I don't remember, man. Discard target library card. Oop, hold on. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> it, it's just, it's just, just kind of fun. It wants me to discard one of these, but I don't know if I should. Eh, let's discard the heal. There. I wouldn't call that a library card, but I guess maybe it is. Having fun ain't hard when you have a library card. Okay, so they can't move and then attack. Moving, they have two AP as well, basically, is I think how we have to read it. Push one target towards any direction. If it's a gizmo, inflict one damage. 
Gain shield one, shield one opposite to target direction. Okay. If I push an enemy into a wall, does that do damage? No, it let, I can choose which direction I push him, though. Okay, so that's one AP. I mean, I'm fine already. Like, Jump to target position and inflict three damage to any unit exactly, exactly midway. Oh my god, it's like a <laughs> precision recast. I don't know what those mean yet, but I'm s assuming... Yeah, okay. So I can't really do that from here. I think we just, uh, like, end turn. Where was that? There it is. You just come right here, and then I'll, I can do the bombing run. Theoretically, maybe I could, um... I could. There's no reason to. Smack, smack, smack. Do we have to do we have to actually move to pick up the gold or Sorry, shards. My bad. Combat flows in turns. First the player, then the enemy, then neutral. After all the units execute their turns, the combat will complete a round. During the player turn, the player will act first, then each ally of the player will act in order from closest to the player to the furthest. Okay. During the enemy turn, enemies will attack in order defined by their distance to the player at the start of the round. Neutrals will follow the same turn order logic. You can press overview to check turn order. Okay. Let me check that. I just want to see what that... Okay. Alright. Good deal. We have the double jump again. So we can do like a hop, hop. Oh, but I can't jump to this spot. Do a hop, hop, jump over. This move seems really solid. Okay, one, two. We're like, we're kind of already good. I think we just move here and we accept. Yeah, we just got slimes for now. Whoop. Whoop. But I'm sure we're, we're going to get something a little scarier. Wait. Oh, we almost have, like, the coolest turn imaginable. Oh, it's a shame. We could have, like... If that guy wasn't here, we could go boom and then hop all the way over. That could have been really fun. And then smacked again. If we had one more AP, it'd be the coolest thing. Health fruit. But since we don't, I think we kind of just vibe. I'll go over here. <laughs> Why not? Okay. So, do we draw one no matter what? Or do, are we going to draw two cards because we hit two things? Oh, poly hit me probably means if I hit two things. I'm sure there's a glossary I can look at, but I kind of just like to figure it out first for a bit. Some health I don't need. Effects. Certain cards and monster actions inflict effects. These are varied conditions that persist for many turns and can be either be positive or negative. Debuffs. Positive benefits, negative debuffs. When the player is affected by an effect, he will draw an effect card. The effect card has its own rules and describes how that effect works on the player. An effect card is a card, and it can be cast with any other as with any other card. When it casts all the cards of that same effect, they will remove that effect from them. When you find cards that inflict effects, try to experiment with them on enemies and yourself. The results might be really useful to your adventures. See, I would love to... Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Uh, what? A stationary plant that attacks enemies by barraging them with explosive seeds. I really want you dead. Wait. Yeah, that's not... Unfortunately. This would have been the perfect time to have the hop hop. Turtle push gains shield one opposite to target direction. 
I don't know exactly what that means. Can you shield one perpendicularly? Ah, so it's a shield from those directions. Hmm. Wait, so if I go one, two... I can't... The thing is, I won't be able to hop... Man. We just don't have a good setup for this. We would have to take damage. But then I think we're going to take damage anyways, but from this guy? I don't remember. This It's the status effect setup. Maybe they put it in a place where you can't kill it in turn one. So that you have to learn. Boo, learning. That being said, I feel like we could have different characters. Yeah. Oh. Did not seem to matter. Okay, so... This, we're, we're just not going to be able to do it with that. So we could go smack. Hook shot. Jump. Oh, I love that. Ooh, that's nice. Boom, ba -ba -ba -boom. Is there like a... Um, I think I saw something in the settings for like... Oh my god. Let's put the speed up to like 120. Alternate game speed? What do you mean there? I mean alternate. Fast combat intervals? I'm curious what that's going to mean. Whoop, whoop. I mean, it seems fast. I don't know. I should stop wasting these heals because I'm pretty sure they stay permanent light. Not that it really matters. Some enemies may execute complex actions that are very precise and difficult to avoid. You can inspect an enemy to figure out their actions. This will show their basic information and the actions they will execute. Click on an enemy during your turn to check if it's, it's actions with more depth. This will draw an, a danger zone. Yep. Remember to always check the actions and danger zones, and you'll be always prepared for the worst. Hello, you. Hop. Okay. So, yeah, you are... You're going to be attacking that spot. Gotcha. I wish that I could do that. Room's just not big enough for this. However. Hmm. Seems like we should be safe. We'll see. Okay, yeah, this is a this is that's a lot faster. That's so much better. Honestly, it should probably be default. Hmm. We have two health. Discard target card to draw a new card. Build a buzz saw. Inflict inflicts one damage to close units when hit. I mean, I'm also a close unit. If it's a gizmo inflicted... Oh, that's so cool, though. Wait. So we could, like, click and then we... Gotcha. One damage to close units. So the thing is, I could put it down right here and then push it... And then push it. Oh, that'd be cool, but... Ultimately, it doesn't look like it's something I can really do right now. So, one, two, one, two. I think we have to uh, hop down and then go over here. And then maybe we can set up a good gizmo trap on the next turn. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad that didn't... Okay, that could have been bad. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Just want to see it in action, you know? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. If there was a unit at that target, push one. Patience, gain one shield perpendicularly. Yeah. It's kind of just begging for this right now, to be honest. All right. Inflict two damage and root one to all close units and summon barricade walls around the area. Wow. You intend to do some business. I shall move closer to you. Alright. Oh, come on. I want to get... I don't want to waste this card, though. You're intending to hop. I guess if you're intending to hop, then I, I might as well just wait a turn. Until you're in my face. Oh, come on! Wait, don't run from me! Wait, what? I guess what I could do is, like, um... Why was that so loud? Confused? I'm with you. North shield... See, what the hell? Alright. If I do damage to this, it's going to just break it. You are annoying me. Confused. Just... Why did that mate there? You had a shield? It's okay. He's, he's running away, though. <laughs> this guy... What a confusing lad. What a strange man. He's like, I don't really feel like it. But yeah, I have no idea why, like, there was a million sound effects happening at the same exact time there. Golden, golden starter. Getting a bunch of card packs or something here? I have been healed. I've gotten a golden. I think that it... So we, like... One thing is, the demo, we never could check out, like, what the deck building of the game looked like, which is a major component of the game. That was not in then, so I think we'll be able to see it here. Some enemies will counter whenever they are attacked. Those actions will always happen in response to damage or sometimes uh, heals inflicted directly by other units. Other enemies will trigger death throw when they are killed by damage. This is the last action done before they die. Learning how to exploit it is a good idea. So, yeah, we could, like, push this guy... Discard up to two cards, gain AP for each discarded card. Man, I wish I had, like, an actual damaging card here. But I just don't. So which one do we want to get rid of? The heal? The one that destroyed my ears. So we get the three AP back. At what cost, though? Alright, so this is... Execute a jump into slime bump. This unit will execute a death throw when it dies. I mean, he summons slimes, I'm pretty sure. So, like, I could... The thing is, I could summon... I could pull him closer to me. And then I could crater. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna do it just to get some action going, right? But I'm... Yeah, I was gonna say, but I'm pretty sure, like, we're gonna just take damage. The fact that... Or does he not go? He No, he can go. That's okay. I'm not really that worried about it. 
Is he gonna do anything? Oh, poor guy. So we can kind of... Like, just stall? We could just draw a full new hand of cards, man. I feel like you probably... If you don't draw to full in between turns... Then... Or in between, you know, rooms... Then this would be busted. But I feel like you probably do, right? I haven't paid close enough attention to that. This has health, right? Yeah. Okay. The enemy just doesn't know what to do about it. It's kind of funny. Okay, we'll just stop right here. I don't know how to... Kill him without... I guess the wind bolt is the way, huh? I'm glad I have that. I don't... I don't think I've had too many other ranged attacks up to this point. Gotta turn down the sound effects, just because some of them aren't balanced too great. Oop. What? My pause button does that. Hello! Okay, do we have our super jump? No, we have the full attack. You're intending to attack over here. You're intending to summon a beetle and then blink away. God, I wish I had four. Because then I could, uh... Or it's a cross pattern, so it's... No. So we could... Step... Pull. I mean, if you're just summoning something anyways, there's not much of a risk in this. Summon Beetle. Uh, so what does your death look like? Is it... Is your, it's... It's an AoE. Is it an AoE in which... Self-destruct. Yes. We'll execute a death throw. But is it whoop, or is it boom, 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 boom? That I don't recall. Because I don't really have a good way to handle an explosive enemy, you know what I'm saying? I guess this is for science, then. We'll cross-cut, and then we, we'll just use one of our heals. Yeah, okay. We'll just, so we do do indeed take damage from that. Not that surprising. Can I target myself? I can. That's... There's no real reason to, but, like, I wonder... There's probably some strange use case for that. Let's try, guy. <laughs> Let's turn on, um... That, too. See what it does. Ooh. I was hoping it would be that. It would be a bit faster. You're going to hop. Slime bomb. Got a petrified monster. Oh, you can right click to end turn. Build a crossbow. It fires a shot that inflicts one damage when. Wait, that inflicts one damage when hit. Can I, like... Can I choose which direction? Hmm. This is a bit risky. This be anything... Anything in this radius. So if I can't rotate it, this is not going to be that useful. I can. Okay, good. Okay, so we kind of want to put it, like, at the edge of... Yeah. 
So we'll do it like that. And then we want to go like a little bit of a... That's kind of fun. I guess I should have put it here if I wanted to... Oh, I can still move it. It's kind of cute. I like that. I like that. Nice and gimmicky. Give me that big old AoE. Fire a phase if it does two damage. You're intending to uh, blast. Wait, Polly hit? This looks like it has piercing. Ooh! I can gain resistance to attacks from all those directions. Loud noise. Why is that so loud? <laughs> okay. Okay. Inflict stun one to target mob. Blocks attacks. So I can cast it to, uh, to stun. I feel like I might as well, like, actually just kill that, right? So if we have these shields, can we block a bomb attack? That's something I'm going to really, I'm really hoping we can. The world may never know. Yeah, I feel like this character that I'm playing doesn't have great tools for dealing with bombs, you know? I can't really relocate myself. You know what? I'll just get rid of the heal. Maybe I'll get a tool that solves this instead. Hook shot. I mean, I could use that to get out. And then hope I draw something a little bit more useful next turn. Hello? What is this? Inflicts damage on enemies that move to its position. Inflicts increased damage to flying units. I can't deny part of me just wants to go for the crater and just say, bring it on. But it is unwise. So, if I did this, this is not a smart idea, to be clear. Especially, like, because he could trap me in there really easily. But I'm wondering. Oh, I was hoping that it could, um, you know, actually hit him. Like, it'd be an interesting little gimmick. All right. Well, at this point, just give me something really cool. Or just keep getting, keep giving me that. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm happy to have this for next turn. God, you are annoying. We can do like a little chain reaction. Like if I'm going to take a hit, at least they're taking a hit too. kind of an interesting way of doing it. I, I'm going to be taking a hit either way. Might as well take this hit. It's kind of a... It's a cooler hit. <laughs> bang, bang. Get out of my life. There we go. All right. But yeah, finding some kind of a... Better way to deal with them. Like, we have that. That helps. Talks about rain. I mean, range has. I know. I saw it. I know. But I didn't have ways to activate it safely. Uh, monsters that become that are petrified become lifeless statues that are brittle to the touch. Oh, hello. In 
intends to reanimate. Hand intends to do nothing. Summon a barricade wall. I don't want to deal with this guy when he's real. Theoretically, that was a poly hit. No. Rip. Oh my god. So I'm actually safe here. I'm not going to say that that's not useful. I am going to say I'm not interested in it right now. Wait. That used AP. That used the second AP when I hit him? Execute a counteraction when hit. Oh my god. Immune to any effects that would instantly kill. Flying. Gotcha. So you are... In... You are going to s just destroy me. No matter what I do. Do I understand correctly? You are perhaps... Made to destroy me? I'm going... I'm hurting mad. Okay. I mean, that worked really well. And now what? Now the game says you're screwed. <laughs> what, did you not expect me to live that wave or what? Not sure. All right. I replayed the demo to get here. Or the demo. The tutorial to get back here. We'll see what we can do. I don't imagine it's going to be any different. I think we will have the same problem, right? So if they these are going to kill me... I mean, maybe I could just use this to my advantage, right? I just need to make sure I keep the wind bolts... But here's the thing, if he attacks back literally whenever I do anything, then I don't know what to say. I think we're going to have a problem. <laughs> okay, there's the crater. We could do like the jump over thing. That's actually pretty good. Because we don't take damage. It's one of the few things we can... What? What? It's, yeah, it's whenever I play any card that hits him, I my turn is over. I think that he is supposed to be a, um, a you're dead man kind of a guy. Uh, so how did you see the turn order? One, two. So you get to go first. I suppose I could just do this. I can only ever play one card. Seems like it. Well, this ain't great. I could stun the hands. Immune. Cross cut. Not great. I think I'd have to, like, hookshot out. Like, one, two, hookshot. Again, I do think that this is probably force death. I could play a different card there. Oh, he hit himself. Okay, well, if he can hit himself, I guess that's 
That's the thing, is just avoid. If I avoid all his attacks, he'll just kill himself. Oh, he's hitting the entire board. Wait. Affected unit is instantly destroyed. Wait. Ah. It's a meta effect. Has no comparable... Okay. Yeah. There it is. Okay, hold on. Where's the discard? I just want to... I want to at least do a drive-by bomb. End me. Petrify. Caster will die if it draws another petrification card. Discard, reapply, petrify. Oh. It's literally, yeah, it's, <laughs> okay. Gotcha. So it has um it has two health bars anyways. It's a pretty good lot. Pretty good way to do that. Jump jump, I could. There's really no point to do anything here though. <laughs> so let's petrify twice. Maybe we can get away with it. And he's going to blow up in my face. No, wait, no, because he's on... That's right. So if I uh, hook shot towards him... Wait. <laughs> I feel like I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Just based off of there being a meta effect there. Ideally, I... Yeah, I have him hit himself. That's the dream. The second he's cast Ancient's Gaze again, I... Yeah, I lose, though. If it draws another Petrification card. Okay. Hey! It's been real. I put up a valiant effort. Yep. Oh, here it comes. It's a cool fight, though. Like, I actually... It, it's interesting, because it looked like a un... It looked like an unwinnable fight, and literally, if it wasn't for the Petrify, you could win that fight. You actually could. Hello. At last, the missing castaway returns to the flock. Thou hast... Finally met demise in these lands. All other travelers on that ship also returned hither after the wreck. We're not child, we of the Temple of Stone has a mandate to guide venturers towards their destiny. Town is big, so thee might fell. feel a dram lost at where to go. There are, there are many adventurers about, and some of the support authority set shop and barracks. Certainly many of the folk shall help thee to make it thee comfortable hither. Speak to those folk. If thee wanteth to resume thy adventures and go forth into the dungeons, thee shouldest talk to Labbit in the Crystal Plaza. To be to the southwest of the temple, thee should have no trouble finding it. Thou may go, child. If thou ever returneth from the stone, I shall be hither to guide thee. All right. You can open the adventuring guide by pressing G. The guide has all the information that might help you on your journey. Has three sections, Gameplay, Encyclopedia, and Town Journal. Gameplay Guide has information on the major topics of the gameplay of Dungeon Drafters. Encycl Oops. Town Journal keeps track of important NPCs, quests, progressions, and other aspects of Adventures Town. I'm assuming the other one was just, you know, it explains what the, you know, the compendium and stuff like that. Well, hello there, everyone. 
Not seen you before. If you just return from the stone, you will probably feel lost around here. You go west past the ridge, you'll arrive at the Crystal Plaza. There's a guide made in there, and also a stagecoach to take you to dungeons. So let's just go take a look. Oh, look at this. Beep, 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 beep. There is a lot of people. Hello, new blood. Welcome to Scavenger Ventures. If you want new curios, I'll be your guy. My service works like this. You find scavenging, find a scavenging venture, and I'll go somewhere around the world to explore. Most likely, I'll come back with a curio. It'll be yours, of course, so, and also venture will require resources for my voyage and exploration. The more dangerous the venture, the more prepared I need to be. The more prepared I need to be, the more expensive it gets. On the upside, the more dangerous the place that I'm scavenging, the better the curios I might bring back. Dangerous places are less explored and thus have more goods lying around. Simple as that. Still setting up everything, however, so please come at a later time if you want to sponsor a venture. Recommend you collect some shards to afford my services. Go down the stairs of the plaza talk to the fellow Labbit in the nice attire. He's a stage coach, specialist in taking ventures to dungeons. Until then, adventurer. They're all nicely dressed. Oh, shoot. It's such a nice banquet, too. Where am I? Unlucky with my top decks and end up dying stupid deaths. So unfair. My guildmate said that excuses are a skill issue. I don't understand what they mean, and that makes me really mad. Ah, there we go. Your new face. Oh, welcome. I'm the representative of the Adventuring Stagecoach Guild. Take adventures to any dungeon quickly, safely, and comfortably, and we already have routes to all dungeons in this aisle. Don't worry about fees. During the expedition, the service is free for all adventures, courtesy of Garada's Adventurer Guild. Imagine you already checked out the town. If you already settled, then want to go to a dungeon? We can take you there. Just be ready. Ooh. Magma City? Doom Dome? Ooh. Interesting. How do I uh, adjust my my deck? I must know. Someone wants to tell me. Yo, welcome to my friend workshop, friendo. What do I work on here? I'm a runesmith, best in the whole world. So it took me on the expedition. Hehe. <laughs> I was improving my craft, you know. Uh, I will make any new runes with the gemstones you find. You want to buy some of my special runes? Oops. Increases max HP. Immunity to... Oh my god. Extreme Metaprog. It's like immunity to specific status effects. Red Adventure. Beep, beep. Oh, I... I haven't seen you here. I was lost in thought for a second. It hasn't been very long since I started venturing, and now this aisle and tower appears. All my life I wanted to discover I was a returner and become an adventurer, but now I'm a little scared. Keep a words of encouragement? I mean, yes. Oh, thank you. Your words are kind. I'll take them to heart. I have a bad feeling about all this. Maybe we all do, but my heart is so filled with doubts, I wonder how much others would agree. Thank you, regardless. I hope to talk to you again, friend. I'm gonna go look around for a, a deck builder character or whatever. Apparently it's in here, said a, an NPC. Ain't you the famous castaway? I thought you'd be older. Well, no matter. Welcome to the pub in the Isle of Doom. Everyone wanted to venture into the Isle as soon as it appeared, even though it had been many years since I've retired. I came here to help in any way I can. Tell you what, come back here with a good story of your ventures and I'll make it worth it for you. If you can see, your eyes are full of ambition, which means you're raring to go on them ventures, huh? Tell me about the loot you find in Dungeons Rup. Around the aisle. <laughs> That's why you venture, no? To get them shards. Anyway, I'm not going anywhere. Too old for crawling myself. When you get to a dungeon, grab some loot, come back and tell me about it. If you're looking for where to go, yep. Good deal. Ah, uh, hello. Welcome, you need some cards. Come to the right place. Remember, in order to be compliant with the accords, I can only print new cards that you personally have in your collection ledger. And also that I have a very powerful printer, able to print rare cards, but I cannot print cards of higher rarities. Looking for some cards? Gotcha. So, ah, and I don't, I don't have any money whatsoever. I thought I picked up money in the dungeon. I could have sworn. All right. Well, let's, let's go take a gander. Magma City, Dune Dome. Lost Wreckage. 
Hmm. I'll go to Magma City. Yes. What could go wrong? All right. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. I'd like to leave. That makes sense. It's just so easy to keep on running when you're out of combat. Oh my lord. Bomb toss, goblin torch. Wait, so you can do either one. Seems to be the idea there. So if I... Oh, I can't jump to that spot. Shoot. I mean, I could theoretically... Put down this. Fires a shot that inflicts a damage when hit. So theoretically, I could go like, boop, boop. Eh. Nah. It'd take three. I, I'd have to go down, down, but I, I just didn't know if that would work. A monster masquerading as an object will heal the ones it considers allies. Gotcha. So I actually, like, don't really have a good way... out of this. Unless... Can I actually... I, I feel like I'm gonna get screwed over the second. Oh, no, okay. I just didn't know if it... it this seems as though you'll be able to do something else with it, but I just don't think that's true. One, two. All right. Does this work? It sure do. All right, so that's a heal of... Yeah. We could move, attack, and then do the crater hit. Nothing wrong with that. Heal me! I'm an ally, smile. I'm glad that it can't shoot me. I just wanted to see if it could. Whoa! What do we got going on here? Places traps that will trigger an effect when a unit occupies the tile. Interesting. Yeah, you have a shield. I hope they don't move. Maybe we wait on that. Mm. Discard the heal. I'm not about that. Okay. So yeah, you put down a trap. Just inflicts damage to enemies who move there. Gotcha. Oh, this isn't the one I thought it was. I can push it, but it doesn't really... Doesn't really help me that much. Magnetic pull. Gale push. Is that going to do damage to me if it hits the wall? Forced to move in a direction relative to the attacker, traversing every tile from start to finish. If it is infinity, the unit will only stop after moving 100. What? If it's infinity? So you're going to theoretically pull me as much as possible, which would be theoretically just here. Can I just stop here? No. works for me. C 
Cloud Ride. Sure seems just like a movement. Can you not attack? Okay. Don't waste a card. Hey, look, barrels. Whoop. Uh, do we only get to pick, like, one of these or something? Promises to reveal what is dark. If we only get one, I'll pick this first, just in case. Nope, we get them all. Pay 250 shards to the torch to reveal all. I'm assuming it just reveals the floor? I don't need to. Ah, hello! Ogre Toss. Me go. Jump. Forced to move in a direction relative to the attacker. What the hell? Are you going to throw an object to me? The phrasing on that. is wacky. The thing is, if I put down the crater, I'm going to block myself in. A lot of resources for that, but he's got a lot of help. Okay, yeah, no, that... He was intending to throw that over there. Let's see. You still going to attack it? Nope. I mean... I guess I just wait for you to do something? Oh, okay. I mean, that's pretty good. Nah, not really. You do two damage? I mean, I can just go ahead and go in, smack you. This is gonna probably hit me, too, but I'm, I'm willing to do it to schmoove things up along. I did not anticipate that chaos. That was uh, a lot. Heal. A powerful aura of challenge. We have to challenge these things and we get something. The treasure chest, I assume. Let's go to the puzzle room. Key Goblin. Key to a secured room. It'll escape if left alone for too long. I'll tell you what. Seems like a pretty good way to keep you in place. You've got some kind of a shield. Why mess? Pretty much just... Is it exciting? Yes, absolutely. Oh, shoot. I thought he was gonna... I just kind of want to just use this... Oh. I can... I can make two. Just want to get it out of my hands. Come here. Come here, sir. Oh, did you heal yourself? It's illegal. That's my job. Bye-bye. 
This better not have the potential to be bombs as well. Okay, we got a pack of cards. So do we do the dungeon, the deck building? It seems like it is just like outside of the, I mean, hey, well, should probably explore the rest of the floor here. It said floor zero was neutral difficulty and then it gets more and more difficult. So you're a slime. Hmm. Burns any unit this episode? Any unit? Are you sure? I feel like this one probably doesn't care. I think that I'll be better off if you just come to me here. At least until I figure out you have some kind of extra attack. You do! Execute on death. Intends to burn. Will it do inflict damage to anything that directly touches it? See, yeah, that... I don't know if this is direct. To me, this doesn't seem direct. It doesn't mean it's not. It seems like it's kind of like an AoE crash does it, but, you know. Will that hold up in court? Let's find out. Okay. I'll probably take the burn if I... I mean, if I hit him, he's going to explode into, like, his pals. So I think we just... Move up. And wait. That's so much healing. So now you have... Now you have spikes on you. This thing's gotta go. I didn't realize it healed that much. Retaliate seems gone now. Phaser's good. I kind of want to just like... use this card right now to cycle it. Oh, you dirty devil. Come to me! Same deal. Just want to use it to cycle it. I'm going to need some, like, I'm going to need some other stuff to, to handle it. I, I might regret moving, using the, uh, oh well, whatever. Uh, we'll keep these. We try how much a turn? One or two? Just one, okay. So yeah, you have the retaliate. Windbolt would work. Man. Does this count as poly hit? Nope. At this point I'm like, just give me the potential. Okay, so seems like it needed to have some sort of like actual retaliate. You know, like, it needed to be alive to do that damage back to me with that attack. Seems like it. I just don't have the tools for this. Also, you didn't retaliate at all? Wait, what? What? <laughs> it said retaliate. Just want to explore this floor since apparently it's the one that is the correct difficulty. Who needs healing? Hmm. Recover two? Oh, you mother. So there's no point then. Basically, we need to do three damage in one hit. So you better move t up to me. It's actually not that hard to do. 
when they're spaced out. If they weren't spaced out like that, this would have been awkward. But they're actually the easiest enemy in the game. Why use think? To be clear, we're going we're going a bit over since the tutorial is was a bit hefty. And also I'm really into it now that we're actually in here. I'm very confused about like the logistics of um like the meta progress and stuff like that. That's where I'm most concerned. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, you have the retaliate. Is it just saying what it's going to cast, you know? If so, that doesn't bother me. Yeah, I didn't get burned. I don't I don't know. I think it's just telling me what it's going to be casting on itself in a bit. I'm going to want to... I don't know. I want the key boy. But I also want to move to this spot. I think the key boy is more important, right? I should put it here, here. No, because no, then I'd be there. That's It's all good. It's all right. Wait, what? It was blocked? That can happen? That sh he should be the most hit by it, in fact. What? Man's gonna get away. If he just needs to get to, like, an exit, he's almost out of here. Shoot. I think he might be... Well... I can at least break his armor in case he is here another turn. He can't leave. Okay, am I willing to take, uh, whatever the hell to get Keyboy? Probably. Yeah, I am. What's a lure? Cannot cast non-effect cards. Okay. <laughs> what a dummy. I don't even really need to get the healer here. Bam, 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 bam. Kind of just, you know, let you do your thing. Come here. Bonk, bonk. Fireworks. Let's go. Oh, there was, I got like a, a card pack or something back there. Huh. So yeah, it just, it gets blocked. That's just what it is. Uh. Return to Adventurer's Town? Yes. Let's go see what the loop is like. You can open booster packs to get new cards in the booster menu. Open it by pressing T. Opening boosters is the most effective way of discovering new cards and acquiring rare ones. 
Cities of Garada. Okay. Higher chances of warden cards. Gain stealth one, discard draw one. Ooh, three star. Shuriken, fire a shot that inflicts a damage. Teleport to the target position. Initiative, draw one, prioritizing another shuriken. Gain an AP. That seems really stupid good. Gain retaliate one, patience immune one, and retaliate one. These seem like really just, yeah. Like the cards are just much better cards, right? I'm very curious why this this one's super expensive. Uh, jump to target enemy and then attack it. Initiative, which I'd have to look at what that means. Gain retaliate one and lure one close unit. Huh. I mean, very, very cool. While in Ventures Town, you can open the deck builder by pressing R. There you can change the cards in your deck and may even change the deck's archetypes by equipping the appropriate runes. You can also use the deck builder to equip or change curios. These are small trinkets that grant a small perk or active effect. Do we have any curios? We have no curios. There's so many, though. Okay. I mean, hey, super neat. There's certainly going to be some that I don't really care about. Um, dang. I mean, very, very cool. Yeah, I, I really I enjoy it, and I don't even mind this loop as a, like an adventure game. I think if you're going in looking for like a run run based roguelike, it seems like that might be a difficult ask. What I would love someday is to potentially see a oh cool allows adding warden cards to your deck. So like certain ones. Oh, that's actually okay. Gotcha. I really like that. So you need to have a certain amount of warden runes in there. So like I could be gotcha. I could have th now I could put three wardens three warden cards in but I'd like in order to use this I'd need to put th three red interesting. That's a really that's a really clever little deck building kind of a style of a mechanic to be like well how red is your deck? And that that's I really like that. That's such a clever idea. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, if there was a, a more roguelike mode where you're actually building your deck throughout the run, I feel like that'd be super, like, super compelling and appealing to me. I don't know. Maybe someday there could be a mode with that. Obviously, there's bugs with the game and stuff. Uh, like, I got, I mean, <laughs> I got soft locked by, in the tutorial. That's not, that's not good. And I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it will be fixed. That's so, like, I don't actually harp on issues like that that much. You know, is it a problem? Sure. Like, but it will. Problems like that don't stay in the game for more than a couple days. Uh, and it just came out, so I'm sure that one will be fixed. But yeah, there's there's a couple things here and there that I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be gonna be honest. If you're looking for a roguelike, the roguelike angle is gonna be a little bit uh, less appealing. But dang, if you're looking for a roguelike feeling game that is more of kind of a a campaigny thing where you're gonna be slowly building out your deck. Outside of combat, you're going to be getting, like, a lot stronger. <laughs> like, the, the difference level between how strong you're going to be right away with starter cards and starter meta progress versus, like, from just the stuff that I've already seen, let alone whatever these trinkets can be and what even later game cards can look like. Um, the difference about uh, from how strong you're going to be now versus later is just going to be night and day. Right? Like, when there's literally just better cards, and you can get immune, completely immune to, like, five status effects, and get more health and stuff like that. There's a lot of ways that you're going to get a lot stronger, which makes it more of a, more of a campaign-based game. With kind of, like, roguelike dungeon dive uh, bits and bobs in it, which I think is a really cool, underserved genre, to be clear. But it's just more of a make sure your expectations are in the right place going in. Uh, where, like, I'm typically not a meta progress guy, but if a game is going for more of a campaign angle, it's not really, it doesn't really bother me. It's just a, it's just a different genre at that point. Um, and this is really going for that kind of different genre, which is a, a genre that I personally really, really like. You know, like, I'm a big fan of, like, uh, the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! games, the Game Boy Pokemon trading card game, where it's 
very much like a collectible card game where you just go through a, a story and just change up your deck throughout that. And I think that that's more what you're going to be getting here, which is really cool. Um, as far as, you know, balance, UI clarity, game speed, I would say, like, the game is at a base too slow. I turned it up to 130 and 110. It felt way better. Like... But you can go you can go much higher than that. I'd recommend these settings, otherwise you're probably going to be sitting there for a long time. Um, but hey, it's really cool. I would, I would be very interested in playing more. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, I would say keep an eye on it and check to make sure that these bugs and things have been fixed before I would feel comfortable saying like, yeah, definitely do it. But the game is very cool. So when those things are fixed, I do recommend it. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Dungeon Drafters. Uh, I may be back to play more of this. If you guys are interested, I really like it. I, I personally really do enjoy it. But hey, thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.